Hey everyone! First off, I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers and everyone that's been commenting and liking on my videos. Like, I mean, like, I appreciate that a lot. Like, it means so much to me because we're new to YouTube. We, I really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't have the equipment to make my videos look all fancy and edited and nice. We, we don't have all that. So I really appreciate you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Like, thank you guys so much. Keep subscribing and liking and telling you, telling your friends about us. Like, tell everyone to subscribe to us. Please. Because it means so much. Um, if you're new to this channel, this is supposed to be me and Dee's couple channel. But we haven't really made a lot of couple videos. Like, we want to do things like couple challenges and pranks and all that stuff. But we, we don't have the equipment for that because we really, we're not where we want to be yet. Life is like hitting us hard. We're both young. We moved out our parents' house at a young age. Like he's been on his own since 18. I've moved out literally recently in um last March. So almost a year now. Well, pretty much a year now. I moved out. Like we're both 22. Young, just trying to get where we want to be at. See these boxes back here. We haven't we're moving to a new apartment next month, or at least in soon. So we're moving. So we're just going through a lot right now but jobs and stuff and I'm in school, I work and it's just a lot. So anyways, I'll be posting whenever I can about medical assisting and CNA. So if you if you're interested in that, stay tuned. If you're interested in a couple stuff, you know, just keep staying, stay subscribed and just keep waiting and just keep watching and tell your friends about us, please. Now to get into this video. So, I'm I go to Southeastern and basically I went to Brightwood first, and Brightwood shut down because it used to be Kaplan, and they lost their accreditation, their funding, and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm in Lab Two class now. We at our Southeastern Institute, um, we have a curriculum. It's like six classes, and then the two, last two months are externship. I'm in my second class. I did med term first, and I was amazing at med term. I had A in that class. That was like my favorite class ever because I'm great at it. Um, I'm in Lab Two. Now, I thought that we were supposed to go to lab one first. Like, it, it would make sense to have lab one first and then lab two. So I'm in the class with three other girls from that was in med term with me. We're both, we're all, all four of us are in lab two. And it's kind of discouraging because the rest of the class already had lab one. So they already know what they're doing. They, know, they already have experience. Lab two is kind of like a review for them. So we're just kind of lost in the sauce right now. So we're just trying to catch up and catch on to things that they already know. Lab two is basically about lab procedures and phlebotomy and what else? Like the testing for like labs and how to do certain tests, like urine specimen and taking blood and stuff like that. So you have to get 50 sticks in before you can go to externship. So people already have their 25 sticks from their first class and now they're trying to get their other 25 for externship. And in lab two, you can go ahead and take the CPT, become a certified phlebotomist. And I kind of want to take it just to see if I can pass it, but I know I should wait to the lab to take lab one first, <laughs> so I can take it and have more experience and go ahead and um, be certified. But anyways, um, we're starting to do our sticks, which is we have to get 25 venipuncture sticks, which is you know taking blood from your arm right here and we do our capillary sticks which is like finger sticks I already got five of those so we're doing lab um our first part of class we we do lecture and stuff like that and play games or do work class work in our last two hours or hour we do like sticks so we practice on a dummy arm first and then once we get checked off for doing that we start pra practicing on each other like real people or real students we practice on students and everything so I did a dummy arm and I got checked off and I think I did pretty good at it. Um, I have to work on my technique though because my hands are not steady and I keep getting nervous when the teacher is watching me. With that being said, this is what happened. Um, I was sticking this girl and the tubes that we have for blood, like when you ever when you go get your blood drawn and a nurse is taking your blood or RNA is taking your blood, um, you know how they stick the needle in, they put the tube in and then all that stuff. So the tube that we the tubes are like little vacuums. Like once you put that tube in, it sucks out the blood through the needle, and that's how we collect blood. So while I was doing that, 
the teacher is watching me. She's making me feel super nervous and just super like um, not confident, like un unconfident. Is that a word? I just get nervous when people are watching me and like she's watching me and I'm nervous. And <laughs> so I put the needle in and I put the tube in. I always mess up on this last part, which is taking a tube out and taking out the needle. So when, once you're in your vein and you get the blood you need, you have to take the tube, you have to pop the tourniquet and then take the tube out. So I pop my tourniquet and as I'm trying to take the tube out, my right hand is trying to pull the needle out. My left hand is trying to get the tube out. My right hand is my dominant hand. So like my right hand wants to do everything. Like it's just, it's hard for me to have that coordination where one hand does one thing and the other hand does the other thing. So as I'm holding the needle and trying to take out the tube with my left hand, my right hand is pulling the needle out. And I shoved the needle back in because I didn't know it was all the way out. And I kind of pushed it back in. And that's a big no-no. You're not supposed to do that because you can rupture someone's vein. And I felt so bad. And girl was like, ow, oh my gosh, that hurts. And teacher like kind of pushed me out the way and took over and did the rest of it. She's like, no, go sit down. And I just felt so bad for that entire rest of that day because I like... Each time I go to do the last part of taking blood and taking out the needle and taking out the tube, I screw up because my right hand is not steady and me, someone watching me is making me feel, you know, not confident in myself. I just get super nervous and just mess everything up. So as I'm taking, so as I'm taking out, you know, the needle, it's just, it's not working. It's not working out properly. So I did it again on someone else. She let me stick somebody else that day and she said I did okay up, to, up into the part where I'm taking out the tube, of course. This time, um, I keep saying, um, I'm sorry if you guys hate that, but I keep saying, um, so this time with this other girl, I did everything okay, but then I got to the last part again and I was taking it, I was trying to take out the tube again. And once again, my right hand's pulling the needle out as well. Cause you have to take out the tube first, because if you don't take out the tube, like I said, it's like a vacuum. It's going to keep sucking blood out. So if you pull out the whole thing, blood's going to come out because you know, the tube is still pulling blood out. So that time... Instead of sticking it back in, I just pulled the whole thing out with the tube still inside the needle and her blood was still coming out because you like the vacuum was pulling blood with pulling the blood out. And apparently it's really it's really painful for people and I didn't know that. Like I don't know. I just really need to work on my technique with like keeping my right hand steady and pulling the tube the tube out first. Like that's the one one part that I really need to work on. I'm gonna try next time using, you know, I'll stick with my right hand. I'll probably grab it with my left hand and then pull it to out with my right hand. I don't know. It's just really hard because, and it's really not fair that we have to go be in a class with people that already took lab. They know what they're doing and we're kind of like inexperienced. So I really wish they didn't. I really wish that they didn't put us in lab two. I wish we, we went to a different class instead until they found a lab one teacher or something because this is really not fair for us. But I'm still, I'm making it. I have like an 87 in the class. I'm just trying my best right now. So that's pretty much how I almost ruptured someone's vein. And like I feel really bad about it still. And I just, like I was not ready for this because at Wrightwood we just kind of went, we just stuck a dummy arm and stuck each other and I was doing okay. But now this is the real deal. We're actually doing real medical assisting things. We're learning a lot. I'm learning a lot and I love it so much. And I cannot wait to where I want to be at with a full-time job with benefits and working in at the RMA somewhere. I cannot wait for that. Like I really can't. An update on my job. I still work at the hospital. I work on ortho spine, bariatric if you guys are new. I'm a nursing assistant. I work night shift now. I used to to work day shift and I used to only want to work day shift but now I'm working night shift and I like I like it because it's calmer there's not a lot of people running around and it's just I like it but I you know I barely work because I'm in school so I have to work tonight and I have to leave soon around I believe like an hour early because traffic is terrible and yeah you know life is okay it's just hitting us hard right now. We're struggling because we're young and really don't know what we're doing. Still in school. Still working as a CNA. I'm trying to go back to my other job in retail because I need another job. Because I can't really work the 12-hour shifts being in school. Because it's either 7A to 7P or 7P to 7A. And I can't work 7A to 7P because I'm in school till 2. And I can't really work 7P to 7A because that means I'll be, you know, working overnight and then going straight to class. 
after work and that's gonna make me exhausted because I did that for the first week of class and it just it made me beyond exhausted and I just did not feel good I wasn't eating properly and it just wasn't going well so I think that's it if you have any more questions or comments please feel free to comment and like and ask questions I'll try to make a better video next time I'm trying not to be all over the place but thank you guys for liking I mean watching Thank you guys for watching and thanks whoever commented on my videos thank you so much you made me feel so good about myself i want to continue to make more videos for you guys hopefully it will help you in your journey so thank you guys for being awesome subscribers like thank you so much and i hope you all have a great day